Hi guys, today we are going to study about the construction and working of the Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine. First, the Francis turbine. Well, this is a mixed flow reaction turbine which is used for the medium heads of water. This was invented by an American scientist named James Francis. Let us see the construction of this turbine. Well, it primarily consists of a runner which is a circular wheel on which a series of curved blades are fixed. The runner is coupled to the rotating vertical shaft. Next, it has a guide wheel. Well, a guide wheel is a stationary wheel around the runners of the turbine. A number of blades are fixed around the circumference of the guide wheel which are called as guide blades which allow the water to strike at a required certain angle to the moving blades. They are designed in such a manner that they will produce a nozzle effect when water flows between them. Next, we have the spiral casing which is the closed path surrounding these guide blades. At last, we have a draft tube which is a pipe which is used to discharge the water from the exit of the turbine to the tail race. Now, let us study the working of this turbine with the help of this figure. Well, water from the reservoir flows through the penstock and enters the spiral casing. In this process, a part of the water's potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Now, water flows through the guide blades and gets deflected radially into the runner. The water then moves over the moving blades in the radial direction and is finally discharged to the tail race via the draft tube. Now, it is important to observe that during its flow over the runner blades, the passage between the blades acts like a nozzle. Hence, the remaining part of the potential energy of water is also converted into kinetic energy. It is also important to notice that an impulse force is generated as the water leaves the blades, hence this will cause the rotation of the blades and therefore rotation of the shaft which can then be used to generate electricity. Next, let us study the Kaplan turbine. Well, this is a turbine which was designed by Sir Victor Kaplan. This turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine similar to the Francis turbine except the fact that the runner receives the water actually in this turbine. Well, the turbine consists of a device called as the hub or boss which is fixed to the vertical shaft. The runner blades are attached to this hub and are also adjustable. Similar to the Francis turbine, the Kaplan turbine also will have fixed glide blades at the inlet of the turbine. Now, coming to the working of this turbine, the water from the reservoir will flow through the penstock and will enter the spiral casing. In the main process, a part of the potential energy of water will be converted into kinetic energy in the casing. The water then moves through the guide blades and will get deflected actually to the runner blades. When water flows over the runner blades, the blade passages will act as a nozzle and hence the remaining part of the potential energy will also be converted into kinetic energy. This water will leave the runner blades at a very high velocity and hence as a result a reaction force will be set up causing the runner to rotate at high speeds. Hence the coupled shaft will also rotate with high speeds and can then be used to generate electricity. The water which is discharged after the process will then enter the draft tube and will be let off to the tail race. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magus videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.